Hey, it is the day after the competition and I'm going to give you a full update of everything that happened from start to finish and firstly I'm so totally and lastly still absolutely buzzing and that's the reason why I wanted to do this video like as soon as possible because it's easy to like things wear off after a little bit of, uh, of time and I'm super excited so I want to tell you everything these are the bad boys that I won number one I'll go through it all in a minute number two and there's a medal inside and certificate inside and also the best thing ever which is what I was working towards is an invite to the British so I say that again, is an invite to the British finals, which is in October, which is what I was trying to qualify for. And I'm so, 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 so glad I got the invite. So let me start from the beginning. Put on your two best friends down. Right. So before the competition, two days before, I decided stupidly, it's like a self sabotage thing because I always do something stupid which I know I shouldn't do so I decided despite the fact that I did a facial for myself the week before that I was going to go ahead and do another mini one so I have this um you know this black I don't know what they're called I'm not really I'm not really into beauty things but these black um like face peel thing I've used it loads of times before never had an issue and decided I'd, I'd do it again for a second time and I did I basically put it on my nose cheeks chin and uh, my forehead and I had like when I took it off I had like a small red mark here but I didn't really think about it then when I took it off my cheeks I looked like I had permanent blusher and it was like a, a burn I had that on both sides and I was just like seriously two days out before and that happens. I posted it on Instagram and loads of people came up with different reasons either because depending how you do your peak week, your skin may be a little bit drier or if the sun's been out, which it had been that week, you may have a different reaction to your products, all sorts of things. But the, the, I don't know what it was, but what I do know is there was a burn on my face and it was just before. So I was not happy about that and I was whacking on my aloe vera plant. I got one, chopped the leaf off, peeled it, slapped it all over. And luckily, it didn't completely go in time, but it did fade enough so that when the makeup was on, you couldn't really see it. So that happened before. And then if you watch our previous episodes of, of um, different vlogs that I've posted, the last competition, you will know that I came on my period and I was worried about that. And, that, and then I did another vlog talking about how that's already happened, so it doesn't matter if it happens again, and blah, 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 blah. So in the car on the way there, I started to get stomach cramps. I was like, well, I know this is not a period because I was on six weeks ago at the last comp, I've had a period since, it's only been six weeks, so I'm not due just yet. I was having stomach cramps and I kept saying to myself, oh no, it's just, it's just nervous cramps. I do get that as well, getting nervous stomach cramps. And it was not. And I did come on on the day. And as much as I said, it's not gonna be a problem because I've dealt with that before. Yeah, it wasn't a problem, but oh, why, why? Because then I had like, this grumbling cramps all day and unlike last time, because I, I didn't come on the day last time, I came on the day before, or the day before that, I started to bloat, which just happened for me the, the first one, first day or second day, sometimes first three days. And I could feel my stomach, you know which bit it is that bloats, right? It's not, for me, it's not um, my stomach as such, it's like an inch below my belly button. And it's a, you, you can't, you, there's no sucking in. It's just there. And because I was lean, it would be more noticeable. Now you can't actually see it on stage, but in your head, you just know you're aware of it. You know it's happening and you're like, why, why? And I didn't mention it to my coach or anyone else, but in my head I was just like, I could just, I kept feeling the area. I thought, this is just gonna blow. I'm gonna fill it with water. And <clears throat> although I still look lean and everything else, I, my stomach wasn't as, um, I don't think the definition was there as much in my stomach this time as it was last time. And because of that reason, but you, you, you can't really tell. It was more for me mentally. I was just like, that's not cool, man. But it happened, so whatever. Um, a funny thing happened before I stepped on stage is that another competitor was competing in a different category in, in body fitness. She's such a lovely girl. Um, she couldn't find her shoes and she couldn't find them because I was wearing them. It just so happened that with all the shoes are pretty much very, very similar. We had the exact same ones, exact same size, and I was wearing her shoes. And she was panicking because she didn't have spare shoes, but I had two other pairs because I had hers on my feet and another spare pair. <laughs> so um, gave her shoes back. Uh, that would have been a funny story though if I hadn't gone on. So that 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 was stuff that went on behind the scenes when we got there. It was all cool. I was so calm, and I met some really really lovely nice people. And you know, one of the things people always say or ask me is, 
oh, it must be very bitchy, it must be very bitchy. But you know what, it's actually not. You may get the odd fake person, I don't know, but maybe I'll just attract nice people. But the people I met are so lovely and so genuine. And it's not a case of, I think because it's not a case of, you can't do anything more once you're there. You've done your training, you've done your nutrition, you, you've done your peak week and you've got your food for the competition for the day. So you can't do anything else. And, and it's down to the judges then. And so it's not like, I don't know what it is, but the vibe isn't what people think it's gonna be like. Not with the UK BFF anyway, and not in my experience. Um, and this is the third time I've competed with them and every single time I've met lovely people, both there in competition and online. There's a, there's a really nice, friendly competitor and her name is, and she, we, I've met her once before, like years ago, like over six years, at the very first comp I did, years and years and years ago, and she was on a posing course, and she always messages me good look messages, she posts about other people, we, know, we chat on Instagram and things, she's absolutely lovely, like, I have never had a bad experience, so all the girls are really, really nice, met some really nice people, uh, it makes it a lot more enjoyable, especially when you're backstage and you're nervous, and you, you're trying to make sure you're eating your food right, and that's timed, and I, I, my food's like every two hours, um, so it's nice to have nice friendly people at the back that take the pressure off a little bit. So I did my thing, competed first, this is the first time I've competed in two categories, Bikini Masters, which was on in the first half of the day, um, so I went, I did that, I wasn't half as nervous, the, the biggest difference was, it, obviously it's a different venue, last time and the time before, it, I, you, when you look out to the audience, you can't see them, they're just black, because uh, of the lights, all you can see is the lights and the judges, but this time you can actually see the audience very clear, and it's the first time I've been able to see my family, and they were right at the front, and that was really, really nice, uh, especially when um, they told me that I'd won. And um, my mum picked up my daughter and she was smiling. That was the best thing ever. So I did that, came off. And then this was this bit was all new to me. So I've never competed twice. The, the bit after was in the afternoon, my second part. And that is so that I can compete in my height category, which is under 164. I'm technically 160 centimetres. which I'm very much under that. Um, so that meant I had a couple of hours in between. So the difference is, is how... Um, my coach is my food for the day I eat every two hours so my breakfast was two boiled eggs 150 grams of sweet potato at eight o'clock and then every two hours I'm having either car something carby something car carbs and fat so two hours later I had um, a banana and then two hours after that I had four calo corn cakes with a tablespoon of almond butter with some salt sprinkled on it and then basically throughout the rest of the day, every two hours, it's something. It's either corn cakes and jam, rice cakes and almond butter, uh, rice cakes with honey, um, a combination of those every two hours. And then before you go on, so I can get a pump, uh, which is when you, 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 you basically do like a mini workout so that you can show off your definition a bit more. I would have some dark chocolate, two squares, and a handful of chocolate raisins or grapes. So... My physique probably would have looked, it definitely felt slightly different for the second one because I had a lot more uh, food in me by then and I was sipping on orange juice throughout the day to keep my sugar up uh, and some water as well. Um, so the second time I came out, I was even more relaxed, which was even better. I won that one and that was a surprise. Um, it was all a surprise and it was all amazing. It was all an amazing feeling. Again, my daughter was there, my whole family was there. It was nice to see everyone like right up front. It was, it was just the best, it was the best feeling ever. And um, I know that I haven't actually spoken to my coach yet, but I know that um, I spoke to one of them, the, the lady that does my nutrition, and my other coach I've not spoken to yet, but I know it's going to be absolutely over the moon with that because we did what we set out. So the, the, the goal was top three. To win was just an absolute bonus, and to get qualified for the British is even better. So that's that. Um, my post comp food is always... Um, what people want to know, I don't know why, but it was funny because one of the girls I was chatting to, she's like, what are you going to have when you finish today? What's your reward? And I'm, a, I'm all about balance, but the thing with the competition preps, I can't have a weekly treat meal, just can't. It won't fit in my macros. I don't want to waste on my macros. I don't want to eat bad foods that are going to make me call cellulite or whatever, or make my prep even harder. So there's just no treat meals in my prep. But I do have a treat afterwards. And then if nothing else is coming up, I'll have a treat meal every single week. And so she was like, what are you going to have? And they're all talking about it. And they're like, oh, I might do this, I might do this. They're like, what are you going to have, Martine? I'm like, I am going to Subway. I'm having a foot long veggie patty, honey oat, everything on it, not grilled, toasted, no cheese, all the salad, no tomatoes, and extra sweet onion sauce, followed by a Maltese Easter egg. And they were like, 
wow, you know exactly what you have. I was like, yep, I know exactly what I'm having. I know exactly where I'm going. And so afterwards, um, my family had gone to a restaurant already because my daughter was getting a bit restless. I'm not surprised because it's a two hour journey there. It's going to be a two hour journey back. And she's been there for the whole day. She's always good as gold. So she was a bit fed up. So they went to a restaurant and I was going to meet them there. And I was like, why am I going to a restaurant? Because I don't want a subway. <laughs> so we went to the restaurant and my mum's having this, what looks like an amazing Sunday dinner. And she's like, well, do you want to order one? I was like, no, I'm going to go to Subway. And she's like, Subway? They're in a really nice restaurant. Like, yeah, because, because that is what I've, that's what I've been working towards. I want Subway. Um, so I wasn't going to eat anything there. They'd almost finished their meal anyway. So I was just sitting with them, chatting to them and talking about the competition. They were so, so, they were so excited for me and proud. And um, yeah, just basically a great moment. And then my, mom, my dad and my brother ordered a sticky toffee pudding. Uh, the type of desserts I like, sticky toffee pudding, spotted dick, um, any custard, anything with custard really, in, in like a spongy thing, is my type of thing. And this thing, this trickle sponge, um, uh, what do they have? Yeah, they had, no, they had sticky toffee pudding. I don't know if I said that, but that's what they ordered. It looked amazing. And then I was like, it looks amazing. And I can actually have it. I could actually have that if I wanted it. Can I order one of those, please? And so it came, I devoured that. But I, actually, I wasn't even that hungry before it came, simply because I, I would normally eat four corn cakes and almond butter every two hours, as well as sipping on orange juice and other sugary substances. I wouldn't normally eat like that. So I was actually quite full. But that, you've always got space for a dessert. That came out, had that, amazing. Then I wasn't hungry at all. So I didn't actually eat a Subway after. Maltese Easter egg had been in my car, in the boot since Easter, because it just had to stay there, outside, out of mind, so I couldn't be tempted, I didn't even think about it. So I had that, got that in the car, and um, was about to open it, and it was incredibly disappointing. I did not like it. So, partly because, you know, when you think about your treat meal, you build it up so big in your head. This is an Easter egg that I've had in my car since April, and it just didn't, it just wasn't, wasn't worth it at all. I had a little bit. It didn't help that Imani was in the car. She thought the Easter egg was for her. <laughs> and she, obviously I'd share it with her. But there was a big deal about she wants to hold the box, she wants to open it, she wants to, she doesn't really have that type of chocolate if she has chocolate at all. She tends, I tend to, if at the weekend when we have a treat, whether it's just me or having one or she's having one or both, she will tend to have um, dark chocolate corn cakes or some kind of dark chocolate, a better quality of chocolate. <clears throat> but she saw that and she wanted that and uh, there was a lot of tears over, over it all to the point, like, hey, have it, have it, have it. It was in the car, and like, she wanted me to sit with her. She wanted to open it, and um, anyway, it, it wasn't enjoyable. I didn't like it. Didn't eat it, to be honest. And uh, uh, Amani didn't eat it either. She just kind of messed about with it, mashed it into a bit pieces that you're not going to shove back in your mouth. So I had in, inside it was the egg and two chocolate bars and the Maltese bars. So I had one of those bars. Disappointing, and um, the egg was just kind of cracked into bits and didn't really make it anywhere. So that was that, that was disappointing. But then uh, we passed the subway, I stopped. I hate getting out. I hate doing anything that isn't competition related after the competition because you're in this own, you're in your own little world, your bodybuilding world for, for that day where everything you are doing is completely normal. Like it's completely normal to be incredibly dark stroke orange and to be fully glammed up and to, that's all normal to be that size. And, but when you come out and you're not in that world, it's not, they don't know where you've just come from. And so you would look like a bumper lumper, like just, you just look out of place. So I was not looking forward to going to the subway. I've got orange hands. It's all starting to rub off because I've washed my hands and bits and pieces. Anyway, I've ordered my subway, exactly what I said. Got it in the car. And Molly kicked off again. So then I can sit in the back seat with her whilst we drive, we've still got about an hour to go. So I didn't eat my Subway until I'd come home, made a Marnie's dinner, tied it up, had a shower, scrubbed the tan off, took on my makeup off, put my hair in bun, and then, then I had my Subway. And I ate it all, and that did not disappoint. That was the best bit. And I was so full, and I've hardly had an appetite today because of it. <laughs> so I absolutely enjoyed it, and I've had my reward now, and now it's time to think about what is next. 
I don't actually know. So I've qualified for that competition. There's loads of competitions in between that, one of which is the English Grand Prix. The reason that stands out is because it is an international show, but it's here in the UK. It's going to be a big one. It's going to be very difficult. And they've also got 11 pro cards up for grabs. Pro card, winning a pro card for me is the dream. Like I want a pro card. The, um, my hesitation is about this competition. It's only four weeks away. I would quite like some time to make some real, real improvements. And I don't think I would be in a position or be ready to get a pro card just yet. Um, and that's not me self-doubting. I just, I've seen the standard at, that will be going for this. Uh, they're a lot more experienced. Uh, it doesn't mean to say that I wouldn't have a chance uh, because anything can happen on the day, either they don't pose correctly or something goes wrong in their prep or they fall off track or whatever. But I, my gut feeling is to save the time. The, the, the British Championships are in October. That gives me a good few months to really make some big changes, which will, I'd seem a lot different um, from this competition to that competition. And I would quite like that time to focus on that and focus on that one and attempt for a pro card the following year. Um, I'm not sure, but I think I would just like to focus on the October one. although. I would like to do another concert before that because they're so much fun and I love it and enjoy it. But I think that should be my focus. The dream, my dream is the hash that's why the hashtag wrote to pro in my videos is to win a pro card, to do the Arnold's, to meet Arnold Schwarzenegger, and to get a um an award from him. The awards were given out this time by um, Helen from who is was Panther and Gladiators and it may not mean anything to you, but it means a lot to me because I absolutely love Gladiators. Loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it. And I used to watch that show every weekend with my family. I just used to think, I want to be a Gladiator. Like, I just wanted to be a Gladiator. I wanted to, even being a contestant, anything. Um, or go up the travel later. I just loved that programme so much. So when she gave the award out, she said, congratulations. I went, oh, yeah, even more so from a Gladiator. I was so happy about that. I'm like a secret super fan. You know, when you're like, you really want to ask loads of questions about it, but you're like, I can't be that person. <laughs> and she's also one of the judges, so um, yeah, I don't want to annoy her. <laughs> but yeah, I love Gladiators, and that that was amazing. So that's about it, really. That has been my that's been my third competition, two first place placings. Very happy with that, and I'm looking forward to see what happens next. And when I do decide what I'm doing. I will no doubt block it. Stay fit, stay strong, stay healthy. See you soon. Bye.